at that pretty face. Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribers around the world. Back again. Back again, man. Got Kai with us. Yes. We got Kai. He's uh, he's doing good. He did rip his stitches out last night. But the skin is staying together. Yeah, together as far as we're Kai, stop licking it. As you say that. <laughs> wants to go, man. We decided to bring it, y'all. Leaving, or oh, we're headed down to get supplies, man. Headed down to Weezer, Idaho. Um, Check out the new Dollar General. Oh, yeah, there's a new Dollar General open. But they're actually, man, the one's all framed up. I think they're working on the inside of one in a little town down the road from us. I want to get back. Anyway, very smoky this morning. Um, Waited on taking Kai with us because the tips, you know, you don't want to leave your dog in a vehicle or whatever. But the plan, yeah, actually, for get the grocery store open a few minutes ago. It's a little after seven o'clock right now. We're gonna hit uh, Ridley's, Bymart, and now Dollar General's right across the. Street. We got some, uh, got a good handful of things that we've just been doing without, and doing just fine. Survive. Yeah, doing just fine. Survive. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to go down today. While we're down, you know, I'll go ahead, man. I'm gonna get some, check the ammo, um, get another bag of dog food just to have stocked up. So you told everybody about Kai's injury. I did. But and you how we about and him. how we fixed him. That we sewed him up. Yeah, yeah. And that we thought that we had um, our first aid stuff, you know, pretty good. Uh, we could have used a needle. Yeah, we ended up using a, just a small sewing needle. So we got some. I think you ordered the order. Um, yeah, we we put some uh, on it. actually, you know, to do stitches on ourselves on whoever animals, whatever. We didn't actually have the stuff we should have. So see, I mean, there's things, dude, like that man, I'm always telling you, get your stuff, man, prep your stuff, you know, man, I go over and I've showed lists, I've talked about lists, all that, but. Yeah, nobody can be 100% prepared for whatever. Yeah, watch some of those. You try. Uh, yeah, you watch some videos, all they think they are. <laughs> Some people might be. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Baby. But there's things yeah. that... Uh, well, there's diehard preppers that are like, you know, bunker style. Well, dude, we don't even consider ourselves preppers. No. You know, that's bad. We live. We, you know, right. We uh, have always, you know, especially when you live the way we live, man, is yeah. having stuff. Dude, it's a long way. You know, it's yeah. a 108 mile round trip that we're yeah. making right now. Meat on hook or meat on the whatever. <laughs> meat on the feet. So what were we to get to talk about on this video here? Mm. I know a lot of you don't like these driving videos, but hey man, it is what it is. Well, and um, if you look back on the last month of videos, the only time you see me is when we're driving. Yeah, lately. She's, she's been fighting about every excuse not to go up the mountain on the fish, fish fences. You know, she didn't even, she, it's her dang uh, knee. Well, ever since that roller skate injury, I've had a couple issues here and there. She's getting old. Wait, have me. To, we have to, are. Am I going to have to put you out to pasture? We are getting <laughs> old. I'm still climbing the mountains, girl. <laughs> when I can't climb the mountains, and it's time to just bury my ass. Yeah. That's it. Back up there tomorrow. I was like, that's it. Oh, man, man. I got to work up the top. Talk about you. You can talk, man. Nobody's seen you for months, man. What have you been up to, Miss Kitty? Um, well, I harvested all my onions. That's how big they were. I wasn't oh, doing okay. They were, they were tiny. Oh, dude. Um, harvest a bunch more plums. Put those up. Um, tomatoes are good now. To tomatoes are okay, but it, we're, they're solid tomatoes. You know, they're not getting big enough to dehydrate. Spuds are doing good. Spuds are doing good, yeah. Prunes, so, prunes are doing good. Tomatoes, 
we just, you know, eat a, I call them salad, any kind of vegetable that isn't getting put up, I just call it salad vegetables. Which we're hoping to, man, you know, we're going to do something with any green tomatoes at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Right now, dude, we're still, um, it's supposed to be 94 today and 101 tomorrow and 100 all the way through Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, yeah, and then it starts to slowly drop down. So. Our cucumbers aren't doing so hot. They're doing the, they're, they're round, man. Yeah, I've got some um, you know table cucumbers and some canning cucumbers planted, and all of them are are just like bulbing at the end, and the the vine end is shrinking. Um, and we went down to the farmers market, the local farmers market. Well, it's a stand, food stand, and bought some of their cucumbers, and they're the, they were the same, not quite as exaggerated as ours, but um, the majority of them were the same, so I think everybody's cucumbers up here are awkward. Now, we have a short growing season anyway. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of, uh, I think I've told you about some of them, man, I did, a lot, I mean, you guys out there, man, all over the country, you know, or the world even, you know? Growing, dude, this is the craziest, oddest growing season that yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You know, like I said, we're getting some food, not getting a ton to, ton to put up. Right. You know? Make this, sure you put up some seeds. Yeah, the the, the spring was extremely wet, and then it got really hot and dry, so it was really difficult for the seedlings to. I planted celery, and the celery has not grown. No, it's the same month. exact size. Well, I guess a little bit. Yeah, we started it, but yeah. <laughs> and then all the um, the squash and stuff—they just started. To I've got a couple pinky size zucchini started. The bushes are just little teeny things. Yeah, it's, it, they're not stunted. Crazy. Stunted. And it's not just. Um, it is not just garden. Vegetables and stuff is doing. Dude, the trees are doing weird stuff. On the mountain is, uh, you know, the huckleberries flat sucks. Yeah, you know, I did get a few, but uh, I expected them to be with the West Spring. West Spring. Oh yeah, I expected it to be yeah. amazing, man, and it was. Uh, Kevin and Briquet, they're actually be heading back this morning. They're going to be at our place this evening, and. Kitty's going to cook up. They got some, uh, they've been a mushroom. Well, they've been on their honeymoon, so they've been playing. Mushroom hunting on Mush their honeymoon. Yeah, mushroom hunting on their honeymoon, and they got some lobster mushrooms. Dude, I have never tried, never found, I've hunted uh, lobster mushrooms. And that's a mushroom that grows off another mushroom, and it turns the color of a lobster, smells like a fish, and tastes like a lobster. Decided. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna get some fish for the day soon. Somebody's brakes locked up or something there. That's crazy for a long yeah. day. What it is, dude? Okay, what else are you up to, Miss Kitty? Talk uh, to me, girl. What they did? They went off the side of the road. Yeah. See that? That was crazy. Yeah. No, we missed. Uh, <laughs> they totally forgot about being a holiday weekend. Dude, we're so, uh, there's just so much, so many things, and so much crap going on in the world. And here we are, man, at the first part of September. Still feels like middle of August. And so many things that we wanted to get done this summer that we haven't, did, that we haven't just started. Yeah. So we've been really focused on that and, uh, Back on trying to get stuff, man. You fall off the, you know, the eBay. Our sales, sales are down. For some, which it's always down in the summertime. Yeah. It's more so this year. So we're really focusing on well, trying to focus. It's hard to stay focused on anything these days. I'm just gonna stay focused on you, Miss. Perfect. But um, anyways, what I was getting at. What we missed. Yeah, what we missed is, dude, I completely, which we probably wouldn't win. I don't know if Raina would have said something. We might have went over to uh, 
some Noroi in the big flea market until her uncle posted some pictures. I completely forgot that, you know, Labor Day weekend and uh, the big flea market in Sumter, which the pictures, man, showed there wasn't a huge turnout. Well, you then, said that there was a lot of new stuff, not a lot. Yeah, a lot of new. I didn't see. I was seeing. You know, he only got pictures. I mean, you know, obviously there's more than just what he took pictures of. But my kind of stuff, I was seeing two, two uh, booths or whatever with that kind of stuff. And then last night, doing something on uh, Instagram or Facebook or something like that. Boom! It pops up, man. The uh, Meadow Days in New Meadows. Dude, I haven't missed two Meadows days for it. Dude, they do there's a yard sign right there. They do a lot of uh states. Yeah. They do a lot of yard sales and um, booths and you know they got the logging competition, all that stuff and dude we yeah. completely Do you wanna stop at that snow? Put that one there. Yeah. I was just asking. Maybe on the way back. Maybe. There's another site right there. Oh, there is. Time's an open hand. I couldn't tell. What the heck? There's a bigger hole there. Okay, we're going to well, drive by. Yeah, we're going to do a drive by just to see. There's another side. Well, I've just seen a big fluorescent. What's that thing? Is that even open yet? Mm -hmm. Dude, it's 7 30 in the morning. I doubt it. I can't read there if there's any time. Oh, look at the sun. You're going to have to get a shot of that, dude. It's crazy. It? Yeah, that's crazy. Is it where these cars are? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's pointing that way. Huh. It's, I think, this house right here. There's no sign right there. Yeah, I think yeah, it's all this think, right yeah, here. Yeah, all the crap. Pull down this way. Very in forward. Oh, it's all oh, right, right there. there. Yeah, I don't know what time they show that. Holy shit. I don't even know if it's open yet. There's the second Dollar General in Idaho. And then they're putting one in Council, Idaho, too, which will be the third, third in Idaho. So, never been in Dollar General, General but we're about to find out. Ooh wee. This place is fancy. What you think, Miss Kitty? It's uh, pretty cool. Pretty fancy. Pretty darn fancy. Look at that. It's crazy because the size of these buildings, man, you don't realize how they're a lot bigger inside than they look on from the outside. for gallon milk though. Look who I found. Canned meat. What kind of deals they have over here. That's a pack, that's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Is it buck twenty five? Oh yeah. buck fifty, I guess there. Ranch ones, the dollars. Now that's these ones. These ones are the dollar, which is a dollar fifty, a dollar. So they're going to use some flour, <laughs> a little bit of candy, hot dogs, man, one dollar sixty-five. These quails, I haven't seen these for so long, man. They're 
Like cheese nips. This is a bunch of crap. I mean, uh, it's actually more expensive than the family dollar. The other thing I notice is that uh, there's different sitting, you know, aisles, man. There's two aisles of uh, toys and two aisles of dog stuff. I think that they're having the problems filling the shelves on some of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think probably the best deal we found in here, man, is uh, 91% alcohol, 32 ounces for a buck. That's a pretty decent deal. Did you see that one down this? What are you doing? I'm, I'm going to look at those right there. Whoa, man. I don't think you want that on there. All right, man. So, uh, let's get in to go back in because that alcohol only charged us. It's on sale, little tag right there for a dollar a bottle, and they charge a three fifty a bottle. Uh, it's gonna be pretty nice having one of these, you know, I don't know, just a couple few miles from uh, the homestead. But when uh, you have Ridley's. Buy Mart, I love my Buy Mart. And then Ridley's and Buy Mart across the street. They're pretty competitive, maybe even cheaper. Some things in here we got cheaper. Found a few things that we haven't seen for quite a while. So all in all, we're still pretty happy to have. Uh, Really gonna be happy to have one of these close to um, close to the homestead. And that's something we noticed in there. I don't know if I said it when I was in there, but uh, a lot of spots on there didn't really film it. That they, you know, there's just like one layer empty behind it. Would just basically they'd spread out a lot of stuff, just trying to. Uh, Filling the space. And then they had two dog aisles, two kids aisles. Um, you know, we repeat stuff on other ones. So that's the one. Uh, one thing I keep telling people about the the uh, Dollar General being close to. Uh, the creek bottom is well, I sure hope they get that filled up before stuff really gets bad because <laughs> it's coming it's coming bad oh I did it dude <laughs> Yeah, broke my damn button. Holy crap, dude, when I put that up there, I thought, man, I hope I don't forget to do that. I just broke the zoom. So now, now, I really need a new camera. Dude, I closed the damn door, you seen it? Dude, when I stuck it up there, I thought, man, I gotta remember not to close that door on it. <laughs> Smash the button and I can still get it to work if I pull up and do it. Cameras are bringing like 300 bucks, 250, 300 bucks right now. <sighs> Still waiting for Miss Kitty. She's in there, man. When we paid the stuff we got, man, it was like 80 bucks. We were expected to be like 50 or 60 bucks. Which we watch our receipts, dude. They get you. See, they're Dollar General, man. Freaking already, dude. For the first time in, they tried to charge me $2.50 more a bottle. Gotta watch them all, dude. I don't know what they did with her, man. Maybe they put her in the back room. Alright, man. So, uh, we hit the Dollar General, Ridley's. 
and Vibart. And one of the things Maui was talking about, actually before we hit the stores, is I've been thinking about, you know, you hear about all these shortages, you know, food shortages, definitely food shortages, definitely, and it's gonna only get worse. But, and we'll see how it turns out in the, uh, see how it turns out in the uh, you know in the states but the one thing we we're talking about saying it, it you know the shelves the grocery stores you know are gonna be open and all that it's going to be the prices yeah you know it's gonna be I mean there's already shortages man like we talked about it it's Dollar General um, Ridley's did 20 bucks you know, up there in McCall, I think it was Albertsons. We got it. It's still it's you, Miss Kitty. I'm still here. Um, what did we end up getting eggs for? 18 bucks? Um, no, I paid, I think, 15. Really? I don't think mm -hmm. that you. Anyway, for five dozen, um, down here, 20 bucks for five dozen. We didn't get any eggs. No. Still waiting for our dang. Yeah. They should be laying here anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, we keep saying that. Um, so what I was saying, getting at, man, is the prices, all the prices are up, man, at all everything. three stores, man, uh, everything to the toilet paper, toilet paper was up three bucks? Um, no, it was up, um, oh, five, almost six bucks. Five, five or six bucks for the toilet paper, the way, you know, that's a normal brand that we get, it's usually a pretty good deal, just not a very good deal anymore. So let's see if I have my Albertsons receipt in here just to compare the egg price. But so anyway, man, I'm, you know you got to fly. Dude came down here. Um, you know I thought we'd get our supplies and everything and spend you know two or three hundred bucks. You know closer to three hundred bucks. You know average a hundred bucks a store. And did we spend five hundred bucks? Yeah. And, and we didn't get. Um, Frivolous. No, we did. Oh, but we did spend probably seventy to hundred on meat. Yes. Next, yeah, we did. We did find a decent deal on some uh, boneless chicken breasts at two forty-nine a pound. I believe. So I bought all the packs of that they had. Which I think was four packs. Do you want to stop? Yeah. Which is four packs, and then. Beef was four dollars a pound. Yeah, four dollars a pound. So we ended up, you know, thirty, thirty dollars a pound. It's just insane, dude. And uh, there's another moving cell. There's so many freaking yard sales and crap. But we're gonna hit this spot. Maybe the fruit stand. <laughs> we're out of here. Go, go home. Yeah. I guess I don't get it. Go home. Seen. with So far, about five hundred dollars less in my pocket. Yeah. Good day. It's been like this pretty much since we left Weezer. This is not normal yeah, who knew for this man. highway. This is all the folks headed back. Weekend travelers. Yeah, weekend warriors, man. We can, oh, look, there's gap. We got a, we got a gap. Oh, look at that, man. We got some space. Now that, that is That's normal. That's how it's supposed to be right there. Phew. We're on this side. We're on the other side of Cambridge. North. Big white building with red trim. Can't miss it. Yeah, what's called? Fruit 
Valley, Valley Fruit. Valley Fruit, no. Fruit maybe. Valley, Valley and Fruit. And actually, he's on, uh, if I remember, I'll put the link down below. He's got a Facebook page, too, dude. Man, he's just a wonderful guy. And we were so happy because our supply, you know, we're right on, dude. We gotta have our spuds. Spuds and our onions, man. Now we gotta get our onions. But where we usually get our spuds, um, we've only been able to get, what, five pound bags or something? Yeah. Man, just a few spuds at a time. Yeah, we ate a lot yeah. of spuds daily. And we're like, oh my gosh, you know, we got ours growing. You know, and I don't want those, but I also want, you know, especially going into this craziness more than that. And he ended up having, what are they, 20 pound bags? I think so. Bags of yeah. Spuds for 10 bucks. Yep. So we bought a red and a russet. Yep. So we're happy about that. Um, I don't know if I filmed going into the estate sale there. Um, a gal that passed away or whatever definitely was a knitter, crafts type stuff, man. Had tons of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Lots no, of clothes. Yeah, lots of clothes. You know, we're three days into it. Um, of course, I go in there and always ask them my spill. They didn't have anything on my my yes. list, but I still scored a, a handful of things. We actually passed, I don't know how many signs and stuff. It just ain't fun. I got so much oh, there. Dude, dude, I know the traffic. Oh, so much stuff to list. But when you're in the resale and you're a trader, you know, you're always buying more, trading for more for later. But going into what we're going in right now, and when you run down end up spending about two hundred dollars more on supplies than you thought. And sales are down on eBay. Sales are down on eBay, yeah. man. Uh, I need to get some stuff. Yeah. I need to, Before we restock yeah. on the... Which I always restock. Always. Yeah. You know, always jumping on the deal. <laughs> we got a few things. That's a big sign right there, man. Yard sale. Oh, dude. No fire camp. Oh, sure. You don't have to make the decision. Yeah, dude, it's hard, man. It's hard. We debated until we were a mile past the other one. And, oh, we've already passed it now. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we're not going to turn around. Um, so anyway, man, we got we do have some frozen meats and stuff, so we're just headed home. Uh, we wanted to be home by noon, and it's actually 10 to 12 now. We probably got 15 or 20 minutes. We're pretty close to noon. The sun has burned its way through and made a magnifying glass, so it is getting hotter than I'll get up. I've had enough and I'm ready for a nap. Make sure you get your postcards in, man. We're getting close to that 20,000 mark. And we are doing a drawing after we get to the 20,000. Check out the links below in the eBay store. Uh, I'm putting, like I said, man, we're going to be going gung-ho mm -hmm. for now for quite a while. New stuff. Uh, Lots of one-up stuff on there. Yeah, great way to support the homes. Yeah, we appreciate that very much. And the t-shirts. Well, I'm wearing one of my new ones today, which I can't flip around and show you. But, uh, uh, I think Katie's got, Katie Joe's got some shirts. We've got a couple people that emailed us about these ones. Mm -hmm. Best way is to, well, that date almost passed. I know. It, yeah. I saw. That's the driving out here. It's not me that I'm worried about. It's the idiots. Yeah. Everybody's in such a hurry. I'm in a hurry to get out of this one. Look how thick that is. I know. We're driving right into it. Right into it. That's so thick. Good Lord willing. Them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. Thank you.